define the lateral area and surface area of this hexagonal prism. Remember, we're assuming that the hexagon is regular. You need to think about what are the key pieces that you need to know in order to find the lateral area and the surface area. You need to know the apothem, how long one side of the hexagon is, so that you can find the entire perimeter of the hexagon. So when I look at this, I need to ask myself, what kind of triangle lives inside of a regular hexagon? And we learned that it's the 30-60-90, special right triangle. The special right triangle has a short leg of length A, a hypotenuse of 2A, and a tall leg of A radical 3. Remember that 2A is the radius, that's how I know it's the 10 centimeters. The A radical 3 is going to be my apothem. So I need to figure out what A is in order to figure out the length of the apothem. Well, if 10 equals 2A, how much is A? That's right. The A would be 5 centimeters. And so when I plug the 5 in on the A radical 3, that tells me that the apothem is 5 radical 3 centimeters. Now, how much is the side of a hexagon? Well, that's right. It's always the same length as the radius, or the hypotenuse, of our special right triangle. So the length of a side of this particular hexagon is also 10 centimeters. Well, the apothem is 5 radical 3 centimeters. The side of a hexagon is 10 centimeters. So the perimeter of the hexagon is found by taking 10 multiplied by 6 to get 60 centimeters for the perimeter of the hexagon. We're now ready to find the lateral area and surface area. The lateral area formula is to take the perimeter of the hexagon and multiply it by the overall height of the prism. Well, we figured out again that the perimeter of the hexagon is how much? Oh, that's right, 60 centimeters. And the height of the overall prism, oh, let's look again. Oh, it's only 4 centimeters this time. So the math problem I need to do is 60 multiplied by 4. 6 times tw 4 is 24. Stick a zero on the end. 240 centimeters squared. And I'm done with lateral area. Let's find the surface area. The surface area formula is lateral area plus 2 times the area of the base. Remember, the area of the base is that funny formula, 1 half multiplied by the apothem multiplied by the perimeter. The apothem again? Oh yeah, 5 radical 3. What was the perimeter again? Oh yeah, 60. So when we plug all that in, surface area is going to be equal to 240 plus 2 times the quantity, 1 half, multiplied by 5 radical 3, multiplied by 60. Remember, we want to go for an exact answer right now, so we're going to treat that radical 3 like it's a variable. We really only need to multiply the 2, the 1 half, the 5, and the 60. Well, that gives me 300, and I bring down the radical 3. Are 240 and 300 radical 3 like terms? In other words, can I actually add those two things together? Oh no, I can't. So I need to just put them inside of parentheses and give them the label of centimeters squared because surface area is still area.